was a nice little cold start for you guys. I guess I should say welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors, but there you go. There was a nice little cold start. Truck's been sitting for a week or so. Uh, last video I think I did is I got the exhaust fixed. If you guys checked out that video, then we had the spare tire under here. Uh, I took that out, but we had that heat shield that was going right here. That pipe was rubbing on it. Uh, took out the spare tire. Pipe slowed forward, so got all the pipes welded together. So no more exhaust leak and everything should be good. One thing I've been wanting to install in this truck for a while, but I've never really got around to it is the rear seat release latch thing for right back here. Um, so basically, if you guys know, then you can't put this seat like forward or down like this um, to like store stuff behind it. So the only thing you can really do is, I got a bunch of crap here, is what I do right now at least is just kind of stick it up under here. It's kind of the same concept. You can see there's like a hat and a toe strap in there, um, some gloves little stuff but as you can see I just kind of shove it up under here there's a little bit of room to where you can shove stuff up in there currently that's what I'm doing but I wanted to get something to where I could actually put this seat down and so right now you can't do that there is a little latch back here but it's super hard to reach back there and uh, like grab it and put it down so I bought this guy online from Built Right Industries. Pretty much it's a little rear seat latch release. So this is gonna go into that latch. This strap will come up right here and you're just gonna pull that and then the seat will be able to fold forward so you can store stuff behind here. I got it off Amazon. I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. I think it was like 25 bucks or something close to that. We'll just get right into the install of it. Shouldn't be too hard. Pretty much there should be just a bracket behind the seat right now. We should just have to take that off um, and just throw this in there. Should be super easy. Hopefully take about five minutes. So first thing we'll have to do though is go behind here, find that release latch and lift it up so that way we can put the seat down so we can access the stuff on the backside. I don't know what that's for. I think that might be for car seats. This guy behind the headrest. I put that headrest down. Pretty much there should just be a little latch in here. We have to grab. That makes it easier too, putting this thing up. Because if you see how this seat comes up, it gives you more room to access behind here. Should just be a little pin that you grab. Can't quite get it with my fingers. I'm gonna go grab something to grip onto it. So I got a wrench. Shouldn't matter the size. You're just going to need this hole in the back so you can grab that pin and pull it up. So I should just put this up. So let us access the pin. Pull up. You hear it? And you got to release that. And now this is going to fold forward just like that. So I'll show you guys. Just like that. So what I was doing was I could feel this pin right here with my fingers, but I couldn't, like I didn't have enough force with just my fingertip to grab onto the end of that. So you just have to grab a wrench that is big enough to get on here. Just go like that, grabbed it and pulled it forward. So it starts like this. This is kind of the locked position it was in. So you just have to Get like a wrench on here, pull it up. You could hear that noise and that's unlocked. As you can see here, it locks onto this little bar. As you can see from this thing, we've got these two holes. And then what we'll have to do is just take off these two. This guy should just slide right underneath there. Um, this thing then is gonna lock into this pin. Probably have it backwards, but it's gonna lock into that pin pretty much like that and then you're just gonna grab this pull it up and then uh, the seat should be able to fold forward just like this as you can see we've got a whole bunch more storage and room back over here the other seat um, there's a latch on that one already because you've got your uh, jack and like your spare tire removal tools and all that stuff behind there so that seat already folds forward it's just accessing these seats right here. 
And yeah, it looks like this is a, uh, something for a car seat. So that is nothing I really need to worry about at this point. At least I hope. <laughs> um, but so we'll go ahead, grab something to take these off. Um, this guy should just pop right off and we'll put that behind it. So I'm getting this off. It ended up being a T30 for these two guys. Um, I had just like a screwdriver with a T30 on it, but these things were on there super tight and I couldn't get it off. So <laughs> had to go to the socket. They were on there very tight. Probably gonna want a socket set when you're doing it or an impact or something. Uh, chances are just a regular screwdriver with like a T30 on it won't work unless you're super strong because I wasn't able to get it off. I got both of those two T30s off, put them down there so we don't lose them. This guy just pops off like that. You can see there is this thing right here holding them in and it slides in like that. Put them up this piece right here. Kind of slides in and holds it. And then the screws go right over the top. So the way this sits is this is that black piece that the kit came with that pretty much sits as you can see over the top of this plastic piece so this is kind of your lever right here that you're going to pull to unlock it and that is going to sit over the top of this um, so it kind of presses against it and it holds it in otherwise it could just slide and fall off the side but that's going to sit like that and pretty much that pin you had to grab with your wrench at first there's the hole in this thing i guess i can show you now that i figured it out so this guy's going to come off but it's going to sit oh, man it's going to go in there like that i'm going to turn it hard to do with one hand I'm trying to hold the camera then this thing will push forward it's going to sit on there just like that and this black piece is going to have to go over the top because on the bottom of here you do have that little latch that sticks out and so you wouldn't be able to as you can tell there's no hole in the top of here so that piece can't go on the bottom it's going to go on the top you're going to slide that piece back in place so like that that piece is slid in place this piece is over the top of here holding it in um, now we should just have to put these screws back in place. So those T30s, I believe they were, should just have to put those back in place and we should pretty much almost be good to go. It took a minute, but I got it. So what I figured out was this plate, you want to push as far that way as possible so that you kind of have a gap in here for this thing to slide around. Um, because otherwise when it sat, when these two pieces sat flush that bottom plate and the top plate then this outside metal piece got really tight on here and it was super hard to pretty much pull this latch um, but like this you just want to make sure that top black plate is pushed as far that way and you have the other one kind of pushed this way a little bit so you can kind of have a gap in here otherwise it's going to be really hard to mess with uh, the lever pretty much and be able to pull that you might almost break the plastic um, so pretty much just had to put these two screws in. Like I said, make sure that black plate is pushed that way. And you have the stock plate, the original plate that was here, pushed this way as far as possible. So you can kind of have a gap in here for this piece to slide around. Now that we have that on, we should pretty much be done. Uh, one thing to note too would be, as you can see, this bar is up. And how I had to access it from the back, I accessed it with the bottom seat pushed up. And so it is going to be the same way putting it back on to start. So I'll show you guys here what I mean. So pretty much you're going to push, put this up. It's going to be hard to grab them both. But then you have to grab the bottom seat as well. So they're both up like that. And then you can push it back. It should be latched on there. So like I said though, you wanna put this bottom part up with it to start, if that's how you got it down. If you, well, if you unpinned this with this seat down, like with this piece down, you wanna make sure you latch it back in the same way you took it off pretty much. So now we should just be able to reach back here. Now we can grab this latch, you hear unlock. 
it unlocks and as you can see that bar is now down because what happens is I'll show you again I guess so you just want to make sure you close that hard and you can see it's actually in because I can't put the seat move the seat forward like that but you see this rear seat when I put it up you can see it go up so that's what that bar in the back is for so that's why I said when you put this up you want to make sure it's in the same position like if you put it down with this seat up you want to make sure you do it the same way when you're relatching it um, because that bar goes up and down when it's up then that means like this seats up and it's forcing that seat to go up otherwise when it's down that bar is down so now it's like that you can unlock it go forward and just like that we have it installed so you guys shouldn't be going anywhere i tightened it down pretty hard but i guess when you do close it you don't have to click this thing forward you just leave it like that and when i push it back you should be able to hear that click of that piece hooking onto that bar. Get the seat belt out of the way. There we go. And as you can tell, I had to put a bit of force into it the first time. The first time it didn't quite latch, but the second time I got it. So now I can just grab this clip, lift it forward, and just like that, we can access storage behind the seat. Um, and also, I guess this thing isn't super long, so it's not going to hang like over the top of the seat down to here. It just kind of barely goes above the seat. So it's not super visible, but when you get your hand back there, you should be able to feel it right away. I guess unless it kind of falls down like that. But now we have access to the storage behind the seat. Um, so, you know, if you want to put like a sub back here or if you just need extra storage for whatever it might be, you now have the room to put it back here without doing the original thing that I did, which was lifting this up and just kind of shoving stuff up under here this way. I mean, it works both ways. Uh, like I said, it was only like a $30 mod. Link for it's down in the description. I guess if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, drop a comment down below, let me know. But other than that, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.